All right, guys, it's that time of year. Ice season is upon us. And over the past two seasons, we have been using six different hook setters, trying to figure out which one is the best. In this video, I will go over all six hook setters from worst to best. And I hope that this video will help you decide which hook setter will be best for you. All right, I'm going to judge these hook setters. Seven categories, adjustment, setting, release, stability, durability, adaptability, and then storage. Those seven categories I find to be quite important. It distinguishes what units are better than the others. It'll help give a wide overview of each hook setter, so that way it'll help you to decide which one will fit your needs the best. All right, first up, Number six on the list is the hook setter hook set from HT Enterprise. You know, as far as adjustment goes, you don't got a lot of room for adjustment. It's a short unit. The pull holder is about the only adjustment you're going to have. The trigger is short, tough to bend the metal if you want to try to adjust it. So you really only have fishing pole holder for an adjustment. The release is terrible. It sticks way too much. This pin here that you have to, that you use to put in the eyelet, it's, it sticks too much. You have to have it halfway in or farther else it will not hold. Another thing I don't like is putting a pin in my eyelet. It's just, I just don't want to cause damage to those eyelets, especially on some of these nicer rods. They're expensive. And so there's absolutely no reason to stick something in the eyelet to cause damage on a cold day. And setting this can be really tricky as well. This pin is quite slick, and so it'll slide in and out of your eyelet. And it can be a real pain if you're trying to set it quick with fish waiting to hit the bait. I don't like how big a pain it is to set. As far as stability goes, this you know it's all right this way, but it's a little bit tippy this way. If you get crooked, fish hits it hard, spins it a little bit, and starts pulling on this at an angle, I can see it flipping over and quite possibly causing you to lose a fishing rod. So very poor as far as stability goes. It's not adaptable in any sense of the word. It's just, just nothing you can do. So other than screwing a board across this way to increase the stability, there's not much you can do to improve this unit. It's quite durable, you know, a big chunk of wood and some plastic, you really can't hurt it. Other than losing the trigger system. It's about the only thing that can really happen. It's not the greatest for storage either. I mean. When you store it, you gotta make sure you don't lose this trigger setup. And then also you got some problems with this darn pull holder. It's kind of in the way as well. So you're always gonna have that sticking out. And so that is the number six hook setter on my list. Number five is the Finicky Fooler. Not a terrible unit, but real similar to the last unit. As far as adjustment goes, pull holder does not adjust. That's it. You put the pull holder in, it doesn't move. All your adjustment is going to be here in the trigger. It's a long trigger, so you got a little bit of adjustment, but having to rebend this metal for every weight, different weight of hook or different length of pull or whatever, it's just not, not ideal. And the release is real similar to the last one. It really likes to stick. It's got a shorter pin here to put in your eyelet, but you're putting it in your eyelet can cause damage. And it also sticks. Real similar to the last unit. And with this short pin, it's, it can be tricky to set. You gotta pay attention, because there's not much of a pin here to catch that eyelet. So setting it is not very desirable either. Though this thing is, can be quite adaptable though. Don't use, don't worry about that hook setter part. Just use the flag. Put your flag in and use it just like an iFish Pro. It spins down here. Hook it right on there. There you go. And then you run your line, line underneath the trigger right here. And leave your bail open. And when a fish pulls your line, it'll pull the trigger up. And there goes your flag. Just like an iFish Pro or a tip up. So fantastic as far as adaptability. Especially for you guys that like to use 
iFish Pros and Tip Ups. I think this is a great little unit. Very durable, big chunk of plastic and some metal. I mean, can't beat that. And storage wise, let me look at it. It's thin. It'll slide in about anywhere. Quite stable. Like, unlike the last unit, it's got quite a wide base. Got some grippers, you know, got some little bit of a texture here to grip the ice, which, you know, sets it up above the last one. You know, the adaptability is kind of what sets this apart from the HT hook setter. It's actually a useful unit. That last one, I would definitely not suggest. There we go. The hook setter of the Finicky Fooler is number five on the list. Number four, Automatic Fisherman. It adjusts without much of a problem. In that you have to adjust this screw here based on your rod length. The release isn't bad. When, you, when it releases, see that? When it releases, that falls away. So it's out of the way, nice release. But then again, you got this darn pin. Sticking a pin through your eyelid. I just I don't like that. It's fairly stable. It's not the best because it's a little too narrow. You need this to be probably a foot longer or some spikes, something to hold it. Because this unit will pull forward and turn. And I've seen it flip over. I haven't lost a pole, but I have seen it flip over and a pole could very well come out and lose your, so you could lose a fishing pole. So definitely terrible stability. It's not adaptable in any other way. I mean, there's not much you could, else you could do. You can't use like an iFish Pro or tip up like the last unit, so. But it does adjust better. Very durable. I mean, it's just a big old piece of plastic, so you ain't gonna hurt it none. But in the same sense, it's not, not good for storage. I mean, this thing is long. Not this whole pull holder is not fold out of the way. So putting it in your bucket or in your sled, it's just always in the way. I do not like this unit. Mostly because of the storage. It's just too dang big. I, mean, I don't, I don't want to waste room my sled for this big old unit when other units are smaller, more compact, and work better. All right, that's number four on the list: automatic fisherman. Number three, also from automatic fisherman. This is the snapper, a newer design, more compact, adjusts the same, got the same trigger, same trigger system, which you know is good for adjustment. The release works great, but you still got that darn pin to go in your eyelid. I, as always, I, as, as before, I said before, I don't want anything in my eyelid. So you have to adjust the real seat, adjust the side of the arm. Then, tip of the rod goes in here, line goes up through here. I think it's a little more st stable. It's a little bit shorter base here, and a little bit wider st uh, stability bar here. It's extremely durable. Just no plastic. I mean, you can't really, can't really hurt the plastic. Can't really adapt it to any other use. Just like the automatic fisherman, it's just a hook setter. It's not gonna work like an iFish Pro or anything like that. Now the storage is so, so much better than that automatic fisherman. I mean, the pull holder is here. Here it slides in and out. You know, you know, like I see, and then slides right back down and in out of the way. See that? Got a nice little square unit that'll slide in your bucket easily in your sled easily easy to store which puts it head and heels over the automatic fisherman this comparison in size here i can't even get the automatic fisherman in the screen there we go see that automatic fisherman is much longer it's not worth a darn and that is a snapper number three on the list now number two the striker pro from ht enterprise and also Celsius has one that's pretty much identical. We could not, I didn't get my hands on it. There weren't any available last year when I bought these, but pretty similar to this unit. And this unit is very adjustable. You need to slide this rod in and out for different length poles, as well as the pole holder moves up and down. The release this trigger works well, except as you see here, it's missing some parts. This darn wing nut and trigger assembly falls apart all the time. I don't know what happened to it. It just fell apart getting all the stuff out to put on the table to do this video. So, I mean, that is the weak spot. If you do get one, I'd say maybe you need a, a lock washer on it or just keep a really close eye on that trigger assembly. Easy to set. You know, you will need a little loop on the end of your, eye, on the end of your pole. So don't put it through your eyelet, put it through the bracket goes from your eyelet to your pole 
so you're not not messing with the eyelid at all. The loop goes right through here. You set it, take it into your pole, bend it down, take your loop through the catch right there. Bring up your keeper. Set your line in the line catcher and line keeper there. And this unit is so much more stable. I mean, look at these stability arms. See that? I mean, there's a wide base there for, for stability. The only other thing about stability is you got these spikes on the end of this. Help keep that pull, help keep the fish from pulling this in the water. The one thing I don't like is these arms don't lock. So I could see if a really big fish hits it, I could maybe see it creeping. These arms could fold back. You know, I have not had that happen, but I could see it possibly happening. So that is one downside. You know, it's not adaptable in any way, but for a, for a, for a hook setter, it's, it's fantastic. You know, it's very durable. So I think it's aluminum with some, you know, some nice plastic parts. Other than the trigger, I'd say it's quite a durable unit. The trigger would be the downside in this unit. And it stores pretty nice. I mean, see, it folds up pretty good. It's a little long. And the one thing I don't like is the trigger assembly is not protected and for storage. And so I think that could be one big reason that it comes apart a lot. But that is number two on the list. Striker Pro from HT Enterprise. All right, guys, now the number one unit and I'm sure you already know which one that is. Pretty easy to guess. The jaw jacker. Heads and tails above everything else. Just like the Striker Pro did. This bar slides in and out. Pull holder adjust up and down. The release is really easy to, to work with. It's got this little wing nut. And it's got a spring here. That keeps tension on your trigger. So heavier baits... And if you have a harder bite, softer bite, you want to adjust the tension here on your trigger. It sets real easy. You're going to need a loop on into your pole. And make sure you got your keeper kicked back and get it through the loop. And push forward to hold it down. And then set this front keeper up like this. And that holds this down right here. Then when you set the line and stability here, this is head and tails above everything else as far as stability goes. The, you know, the... Nice thing is that these spikes lock out and they come forward quite a long ways. And it's, they're quite stiff. I mean, they don't slide real easy, so I don't think a fish is going to be able to pull it and pull these back in since they're so far forward. And this, it's durable. I mean, you can't beat it. Storage is nice. This, this unit, one thing I like about this unit over the last one is the way it stores. All right, let's show you here. Everything stores back down nice and compact into a rectangle, see? So real similar to the snapper, folds back down like the Striker Pro, but one thing that's nice is the trigger is a little more protected. See that? The trigger's not just hanging out here in front to get beat up on. So storage is fantastic. Now I did skip, I skipped adaptability on this unit because I want to show you last. This thing is fantastic as far as adaptability goes. You can add the unit to the automatic uh, jigging base. This thing will jig your baits for you. And it's pretty simple. You just take your hook setter here, take your hook setter and just put it right on the jigging unit. All right, see that? Legs fold out the same way, spikes lock in place. And it comes with different wheels. They all got cut, got notches cut in them. There's three different wheels. This is the <clears throat> this is the wiggle wheel. So just kind of nice little little bumps. And there's a couple other ones. The jigger wheel. Let's see a tooth wheel, which gives you some jigs. It's a little bit bigger jig movement. And there's another bigger wheel, it gives you some bigger jig movements. But it's really easy. It's just battery powered. And you watch this unit, and just it just kind of follows that follows this uh, pattern you have here on the disc. I gotta say, you know, once you figure this out, pull right, oh, that's a big fish, though. the bait you're using, or the jig you're using, whatever it may be, yeah, right, big. and find the right spot in the lake. I mean, the combo goes together, so, goes together so well. Oh, this thing John will off, catch guys. fish. I imagine it's and a does big it, pipe. you know, just sitting up by itself. It's, gotta be a pipe. Oh, there's it's really my leader. hard to beat it. You know, you know, it's just like as if you were jigging. You know, there's so many reasons this unit's Heads and tails above the rest of the units. 
I find that it adjusts easier. The trigger system is much better. Releases very well. It's compact. Storage is very nice and keeps the trigger safe. And then you can add it to a jigging base. And man, does that change everything. Puts it so far heads and tails above the other units. All right, guys. So that is the top unit, the jaw jacker. My favorite unit by far. If you have any questions about these units, I have other videos going over how to set them and then a few in an in-depth video with some tips, tricks and tactics for the jaw jacker. A few more, another video on the hooks on the finicky fooler demonstrating how it works as an iFish Pro and also a separate in-depth video with the HT Hookmaster hook set. I had a request for someone want me to do more of an in-depth video on that. And I did actually get a fish on both of those in those videos. If you have questions on the Automatic Fisherman, the Snapper, or the HT Striker Pro, and you'd like me to do another video on, on it, make sure to let me know in the comments below. But I really hope this video will help answer some of your questions about which automatic hook setter is right for you. Make sure to check out our sponsors, Flathead Baits, Sago's Tackle, Luxner Lures, Northwood Jig Company, Broken Board Fishing, ATF Custom Rods, and V-Line Rods. And as always, I'm Jake. Later.